to another Real Talk Reaction. This one is for Parks and Recreation Season 5, Episode number 9. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe, plus hit that notification bell. Let's go. Alright, we got Dell Guy coming through to say that is once again Homer Simpson as the NPR host who has to whisper to us the meaning of the Batman. Yeah. And the park architect was played by Brad Hall, who has been married to Julia Louise Dreyfus for 35 years and was on SNL with her. Okay. To see Tom take his steps into responsibility is surprisingly touching, all the more so because the show has brought him there gradually and believably, step by step. But then we know from The Good Place that Mike Schur is an expert planner ahead. Mm -hmm. By the way, rent a swag is a brilliant idea. Why does it exist? Yeah. After I read your comment, I legit looked it up too to see if there was anything. Yeah. And I couldn't find anything that was similar. Yeah, that's um, why it makes sense. It's like ridden prom tuxedos and dresses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, JoJo coming through to say, you guys cracking up at the Burt Macklin stuff was great. For some reason, I was really touched by the Ann and Tom stuff in this episode. Even if they aren't soulmates, they are really evolving as friends. I really love geeking out Ben as well. If he wasn't Leslie's soulmate, I might have a crush. Wow. For reals. All right, executive producer Faye saying, Andy and April's relationship is one of TV's best, in my opinion. Yeah. I love how she reassured him that Andy Dwyer is better than Burt Macklin. Yes. I also love the way the little boy turned to April and said, thank you, Miss Hitler. And the mother was like, what the heck? <laughs> <For> <laughs> Really love this episode. I need to catch up on your guys' reactions since this is such a great show. It is. Alright, M1010 says, Even after watching the show so many times, it amazes me how perfect Andy and April and Ben and Leslie are together. Yeah. Highlights for me were Tom trying to get groceries from the diner and the mural titled The Many Surrenders of Pawnee. <laughs> Alright, let's get to episode 9 right now. Merry Christmas! What? Halfway Christmas, half congratulations. Because I just received some news. You, Ron Swanson, have been nominated for an award from the Indiana Fine Woodworking Association. How did you hear about that? I've had a Ron Swanson Google alert for seven years. Oh my God. And it finally paid off. <laughs> Recently, I made a chair. When I was finished, I thought it was a good chair. <laughs> oh, it's warm in there. Warm and happy. Ooh, look at that gingerbread man. What I'm seeing gingerbread cookies? What's talking about that jacked up lights can do? Look like Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin. <laughs> There's a buffet in the house. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. We need to crash this party. Man, let us in. Let's go. Well, well, well. Well, well, you well. You don't want to come into Jerry's party. And why is that? I need a place to deliver this baby, and it's coming out of me right now. <laughs> This is a lovely party thrown by a lovely man and his lovely family. There's no place for meanies. Oh, forget it. I'm coming in. No. Get off me. Wait. You're so weak. Really? Ah, I'm barely even doing anything. Are you iron deficient? Let me look at your palms. Are you iron deficient? <laughs> man strength. Man Perkins. Let us in, in. It's cold outside. I can't wear mittens because they're unflattered to my hands. Sorry, guys. This is your penance. You can come in, you do something nice for Jerry. Hey, I already did something nice for Jerry. I drove here to take him to Jerry dinner. Oh, Donna. Get in there. You can come in. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, I'm in there. Bass sucker. Bitches. Whatever. It's Jerry's party. How cool could it be? Santa! The other Santa! What? Oh, my God. Fine Woodworking Association Awards. I'm your host, Martin Housley, and wow, it's going to be a great show. Knock on wood. <laughs> I mean, yeah, okay, you're going to get those jokes, so. <laughs> Same table. Tammy, this table is reserved. A guy traded me a seat for a peek and a squeeze. That's my boob and my butt, respectively. Wow. Remember that, Ron? Subtle. Well, you Same know, they thing. asked me if I would host this event, <laughs> and I said, would I? Would I? <laughs> you ain't going to be all night. All night. All night. All night. All night. Happy holidays, Chris. So good to see you. What was that face? Someone I'd like you to meet. Is that the therapist? I'm Gail Gergich. Yep. Gail, you're Gail. Jerry's time. I just tied my high score on Snake. Our next award is for Achievement <laughs> in Chairs. The nominees are Asa Christiana for Chair, Ron Swanson for Chair. For Chair. So exciting, Ron. She is too much. Right, Ron, this is your moment. To her out. She's not even here. And the winner is Ron Swanson. Woo! Yeah, 
uh, put my all in that chair. This award is the only one I'd ever give a damn about. I made my first chair Same. when See, I was five. It's fucking the worst. The quality of the wood was wanting, so when I turned nine, I used my factory wages to purchase some beautiful local walnut. What in the fuck? Uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> For this, uh, this all good, night good. Uh, wow. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> there it is. Wow. Babe. She is fucking crazy. Uh, hey, you're looking at a picture of Millie. You want to take off, grab some vegan fries? Mm, she really was delightful. I don't truly do it. Don't do it. Man, maybe going to therapy a thousand times a week is helping. I mean, if you'd seen that picture a month ago, you would have fallen apart. <laughs> it's just a picture. Millie! Oh, no. no shit. We wanted to surprise you oh. early. She made it. Oh, hey, Chris. Hi. Let's take a moment now to remember those woodworkers who are no longer with us and the beautiful coffins they all designed themselves. Oh, wow. That's lucky. Hey, hey. Joyce, you Ron? He disappeared out of the speech and I can't find him anywhere. Diane, uh, the stuff with Tammy is so complex and weird and gross. It just would probably be better if he were here. I'm not worried about Tammy. I mean, I'm a middle school vice principal. I deal with one on the psych that's all the time. Oh, great, good. What concerns me is you. You who? You, you. You, me. You're the one who's been at his side all night. You're the one who's been protecting him. You're the one who knows all the intimate details of his romantic history with that monster. Oh, no, 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 Diane, you misunderstand. I'm happily engaged. You and Ron have an intimacy that I just don't understand. So if there is a threat to my relationship with Ron, it's not Tammy. It's you. Fasten your I mean, you can see how an uh, outside person can see that. Yeah, I'll give her that. Who did he hug when he going up there to get the thing? Not his new girl. Well, he kissed his girl first, though. Oh, okay. She left. Of course. Tammy ruins everything. No, she left because of me. She's threatened by our relationship. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I don't think of you romantically. You're pro-government, you never stop talking, and you have blonde hair. You're my worst nightmare. Excuse me, one man's worst nightmare is every other man's total package. But the point is... I don't think <laughs> it's it's every other man. I don't see where Diana's coming from. We are close friends, and, and I'm very involved in your life. I wouldn't say we're close. By Swanson's standards, we're close. I know when your birthday is. So does Baskin Robbins. I know that you secretly love artichokes and plums. Keep your horse down, goddamn mouth. Fine, we're friends. So what do I do? Tammy's waiting for me in my car. In my car. my car. You go get Diane, and I will handle Tammy. Thank you. Protect your eyes. She's a gouger. Good to know. Chris, I'd like to you to meet my fiancé, Carl. Well, hi there. Hey, how did you two meet? Whitewater rafting? He was the young rafting instructor all the girls were into, and I was the young rafting instructor all the guys. Yeah. <laughs> Tammy is fucking crazy. It's, it's, it's hey. She yeah. works at the library. Oh, oh my god, I'm so turned on right now. What is wrong with you? Oh yeah, tell me you're not feeling this. You are so crazy. Yeah, <laughs> you're so crazy. <laughs> Tammy is fucking sicko. Oh my god. At this very moment, Leslie is throwing herself in front of a freight train named Tammy. For me, and you. Leslie is a wonderful, loyal friend who is very important in my life. But I would sooner visit Europe than have something romantic happen between us. Although, you know how much I hate you. What the fuck? Around, I like you so much I'd be willing to risk it. But not friends, right? God, no. <laughs> See, you know me pretty well already. But you're about to get to know me even better. I brought you here because I want to show you something. Oh my god, he's going to say it. He's going to Yeah. Certainly not Tammy, and not even Leslie. Right. Though. Ladies and gentlemen, and especially the ladies, put your hands together Nobody for the once, the only, my man, Mr. 
Mr. Duke Silver. Duke Silver. <laughs> She's like, what's going on? A mighty fine holiday evening to you all. It might be cold outside, but it's about to get warm all up in my jazz. All up in my jazz. I, of course, am Duke Silver, and I would like to dedicate this first song to my duchess. Aww. You're so lucky. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Shit. I mean, yeah, you probably got some groupies, but yeah. you've been doing it for a long time. I think it's time to officially retire as Ron's emotional guardian. That's Diane's job I'm going job to kill now. you. <laughs> and she seems more than up to the task. I mean, I'd do anything for Ron. Even spend a whole night fighting his crazy ex-wife. But I think I'm safe. She's gotta be tired by now. Gosh. <laughs> She's gotta be tired by now. <laughs> Officer Scorbel. I pulled over a Tammy Swanson for driving erratically. Ran the plates of your car. He was stolen. Hey, Ron, why don't you get me out of these handcuffs so I can put you into these handcuffs? Yes, please, Officer. Get her out of those cuffs. I want this to be a fair fight. Officer, did you see this <laughs> passenger? She's in a truck. There we go. There we go. Hey. Help. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Tammy. Uh, Leslie's the best oh, friend yeah. ever, though. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that was episode five nine of uh, Parks and Rec, and that was a hilarious, crazy episode. The first part with Jerry and and and, and Tommy them trying to them. Uh, go to dinner and then go back to his house and he's having an awesome party and he's also been the most nicest person which we already knew all the time to them and they should have just felt like shit because of the way they've been treating him forever but that's just the way it is then the surprise of who his wife is for real it's just no logical explanation <laughs> So of, of how that is to be. But I guess that's just what it is. And then Leslie, Tammy, and, and, and fucking uh, Ron. I mean, this shit, that got out of hand real, real quick. His ex-wife, Tammy, is bananas. Even though we know that's his real wife in real life, they get, they play it together so well together that's probably only those two, you know, a married couple can do that on the TV show. That is so crazy. And, and her not be uncomfortable yeah. with taking it all the way How can you not crack the hell up? I would have been, I just know way I could have kept a straight face. It's too yeah. much. And so, I mean, then they tried to insinuate Leslie and, um... And Ron, which they did that like maybe season one or something, just one little hint of insinuation. She thought about it when she was looking for a man type of thing, but... I hope they don't bring that back around. That just doesn't make sense. That was any definitely sense. not at all what they were doing, though, that episode. I mean, this is the second time they brought it up, so it's just like, let's not even explore that at all. They are best friends. She is his best friend. She is a loyal friend, and we just keep it at that. I'm sure that that's what they're going to do, but uh, I enjoyed the show uh, all the same, and I can't wait to see what's next. Yeah, I totally loved both storylines. Um, I love the fact that um, Tom had sent all of the let, had Jer all of Jerry's notifications go to spam. I like that whole reveal of them going back through and how Jerry's been sending them individual messages, just cheering them on all this time, which added that extra layer of we are pieces of shit. Um, but ultimately, when they let him in and they close the door in Jerry's face, it's just so perfectly written for everything that encompasses Jerry that I just appreciate the show sticking it to it every uh -huh. single time. They don't linger. They keep it very authentically to the cre uh, the cr uh, character they created in Jerry and everything that happens to him. So I thought that was brilliant. Um, yes, the... <clears throat> introduction to Jerry's wife and no one understanding how this is a possibility and how this goes together is just brilliant too. I did like Chris. I, I'm wondering if Chris, I kept waiting for Chris to like break. break. Yeah. Um, but I like the fact that it seems like he's getting more sure footing too. I thought that was really good. And having been there to be ultimately the same, he was basically playing the same role that Leslie was playing for Ron, like an emotional, mm -hmm. like, friend in that yeah. moment so i yeah. thought that was a great balance showing that they can both go off and support their friends um on their own they're just as strong as a couple individually uh -huh. as they are together so i thought that was a great again for them and then tammy coming back and all the shenanigans that she brings and her acting and everything that she does yeah. is it's just gold it's hilarious it's uncomfortable it's ridiculous it's over the top Crazy. it's brilliant and i love again leslie stepping up as the best friend that she is and we like look i'm gonna take her on tonight you yeah. go fix everything with diane 
let her know I'm doing this for y'all. Yeah. So like, I just, it's such an Always. established friendship at this point that like, I can, you will not even consider them as a romantic thing at all. Yeah. Um, yeah. And Ben and Leslie are just too perfect together for that to even be a consideration. Right. So I thought another phenomenal episode, so much to love. Can't wait for the next one. Yep. All right, well look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Parks and Rec, season five, episode number nine. And until next time, people, peace.